Welcome to Filmmaker IQ's Video Basement. I'm John Hess and today we're going to review the BeachTech DXA 5DA. The first major hurdle of the HD DSLR video revolution is audio inputs. These still cameras were just never made to handle audio recording. So we've had to resort to the good old dual system process of sending audio into something like this Tascam audio recorder to be synced up later down in the post-production process. Although this way does offer a lot of advantages like portability and a vastly higher sampling rate, simplicity just isn't one of those advantages. In comes BeachTech to offer a couple of solutions. The DXA 5DA is essentially a pre-mixer for your DSLR camera. It takes professional grade XLR inputs right here and sends them through a small microphone mini jack into your camera. XLR inputs are the workhorse by which production audio is recorded. Before we go into further features about the DXA 5DA, I just want to point out this unit is not a preamp and that doesn't amplify the signal. According to their website, there is no power required to pass a signal from the source to the camera. The onboard 9 volt battery powers the LCD screen, the auto gain control, and the headphone monitoring. That said, this unit does not feature 48 volt phantom power. Phantom power is essentially a current that is sent from the mixer or recording deck through the microphone cable and into the microphone circuitry to power the microphone. Generally this is used for condenser microphones. Now there are two basic types of microphones. There's dynamic microphones and there are condensers. Of the two, condensers are far more sensitive, making them very useful in a boom mic situation. Because boom mics are generally built for field use, they often have a battery compartment that provides power for the circuitry when the phantom power isn't available. These battery powered sources will be compatible with the DXA 5DA. This includes wireless microphones, dynamic microphones, powered mixers, and powered condensers. The DXA 5DA will not work with an unpowered condenser like this studio microphone here. Before you purchase, check your audio equipment to see if it needs 48 volt phantom power. If it does, you'll want to upgrade to the BeachTech DXA SLR, which has all the same features as the 5DA, but adds phantom power for a few bucks more. Personally, I find the 5DA without the phantom power handles almost anything I would need it to. And frankly, I'd much rather replace a AA battery in that powers my boom mic, which I can use as rechargeable, than to try to stock up on 9 volt batteries for the Beach Tech that will drain faster because I'm using it for all the phantom power. On the control interface, you'll find two knobs to control the two audio inputs and a third knob that controls the master volume. A welcome addition and something that's seriously missing from the DSLRs is a headphone jack which allows you to monitor your audio live as you record. Switches here allow you to jump between two types of ground in case you're getting a buzz when plugged into a powered mixer and the option of jumping from mono to stereo and mono here just repeats this left signal for the right. But the really interesting toggle is this third one, the auto gain control disable. Auto gain control or uh, AGC for short is the cameras automatically adjusting the audio gain to maintain a certain audio level. This can lead to some extremely annoying shifts in volume. This is really noticeable when you have a quiet section in your recording and the agency cranks up the volume to compensate for that quietness because it's trying to reach that average. The result is an annoying hiss rather than a really nice quiet section. The AGC disable feature adds a constant 20 hertz hum to the left channel when recording in stereo fooling the camera's AGC into thinking that the volume is constant, even during quiet parts. This 20 hertz hum is so low that it's inaudible, but can be easily notched out with EQ filter if you need to. The DXA 5DA easily mounts to any camera that has screw holes for a tripod plate on the bottom. With this device, you're not limited to just DSLR cameras. This unit can be used to add XLR inputs to any camera as long as it takes a mini jack microphone. And speaking just for the Canon 5D, the BeachTech 5DA adds some, a serious welcome bulk to make doing handheld work a lot easier. So here's our little mini jack microphone that goes right in there. And you're ready to go. Audio wise, the sound is as clean as it gets. Bottom line, the BeachTech DXA 5DA adds much needed sound input to the DSLR world, making these cameras much more practical for everyday videography use. I'm John Hess, and I'll see you at filmmakeriq.com.